Prague is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Um, it's got an absolutely stunning old town, famous St. Charles Bridge. So very, very popular uh, destination with, with tourists. Um, it's a lovely place to spend a few days. Um, if you go back 10 or so years, when I first went to Prague, uh, it was quite hard to find good restaurants. It was quite Eastern European, sort of dumplings, that kind of stuff. Um, but now the, the uh, dining scene has moved on um, and you've certainly got a, f a few quite good restaurants there. Now, um, I'm going to suggest three to you. Um, um, there are two Michelin star restaurants uh, in, in Prague. Um, one is called Alcron and Alcron is in a, a hotel just off uh, the St. Vincent Square and it has a very beautiful dining room uh, with sort of murals based on a 1930s uh, artist. Um, so it's a very sort of art deco star dining room, gorgeous. Um, the food is, is quite um, sort of elaborate and, and quite sort of precise uh, sort of French cooking and it's very good, it's a you know, Michelin star level level food and you're sitting in this really gorgeous romantic dining room so you know, that's sort of somewhere to consider. If you want to go a little bit more Czech um, then there's a restaurant called Degustation which despite the French sort of name is actually a pure Czech restaurant based on the recipes in a, a very old I think it's 18th, 18th century cookery book um, which they have a little, you know, very sort of faded copy of uh, tucked away in the kitchen. Um, now some of the recipes there are pretty exotic, and they, they, and some of the ingredients are quite hard to, to get now. So it's, it's it's certainly updated from from that time. But just as Heston Blumenthal has revived a lot of old British dishes, Degustation has revived a lot of old Czech dishes. Um, so what you have here is a very sort of uh, a restaurant that's set in in a traditional mould but the, the cooking is very modern, and so the, the take on all these dishes is very modern. Um, and this, I think, works very well, and um, it's a fun place. The, the kitchen's open, you can see the chefs working, and uh, the, the food, I think, is very enjoyable there. The third place um, <clears throat> was a bit of a sort of surprise to me, because I sort of almost stumbled upon it, uh, uh, and it's a place called uh, Finestra, and it's a quite simple, appearingly very simple Italian restaurant. Uh, with a delicatessen next door. But what really, really impressed me was the incredible quality of ingredients there. So I had some uh, tomatoes that could have come straight from the Amalfi Coast, and in fact, they did. Um, they, were, they were absolutely stunning quality. Um, I had some excellent food right the way through the meal, uh, all based on gorgeous Italian, you know, really top quality Italian ingredients. The wine list is a, a complete steal and you can have some extraordinarily good wine that's barely more than the retail price. Um, and staff were charming and friendly. So Finestra is sort of not that well known, but I was very, very impressed with it on my recent visit to Prague. So these days in Prague, you can actually eat quite well um, and the food is beginning to sort of match the beauty of the city itself.